Do you create an environment where it is cool to be a learner or do you shut down learning and discovery? Welcome back, friends. This is your place for cutting edge tools, exercises, best practices, and modern leadership strategies. Because when the world is changing, it's time to bring our leadership styles along for the ride. Whether you're a company leader, a corporate visionary, an entrepreneur, this show gives you new insights into the neuroscience and the language of leadership, plus practical steps and tips to lead your teams in a powerful way. It'll also help you keep your people happy and engaged, all while achieving your biggest goals. I'm your host, Jen Thornton. I'm a talent strategist, a brain-based executive coach, speaker, and the founder of 304 Coaching. Now let's fix leadership. Do you have an idea or a topic we should discuss here together on Let's Fix Leadership? Send your ideas and your questions directly to me at hello at letsfixleadership.com. Today's world is moving quickly and it can feel like an Olympic sport to stay up on everything that's new and coming out. Oh gosh, there's new software, updated software, new trends, new customer shopping patterns, legal requirements, new knowledge, new ways of doing things, the newest industry thought leaders, the list just, it just keeps going on and on. As a leader, do you make it cool to be a learner to ensure your team is staying up on all of these new trends? adding additional skills to their toolkit, or searching out the best of the best of the best of all the new things? Leaders that are fostering a learning environment not only empower their employees, but also drive innovation and cultivate a culture of continuous improvement. That is a lot of C's in one sentence. And I have a feeling that's the environment and culture you want to create for your team. So, how do you make learning cool and lead a team full of continuous learners? Well, let's start by being a learner. We have to be learners ourselves. Individuals take cues from their bosses. Have you ever worked with a leader that thought they knew everything? I have a feeling while you worked for that person, you were less likely to share what you were learning and or you may have shied away from learning because it felt you felt bad. You felt like if you had something to learn, you were less than because your boss seemed to always know all the answers. As a leader, talk about what you are learning. Share that you are actually learning. Talk about your failures, what you learn from them. Share articles and podcasts that you enjoy and tell your team what you learn from the content. Not only will showing your team learning as part of leading, you will create an environment where people are more open to ask for help. They were more likely to share their wins and failures, and they're more likely to help each other out. Let's take a quick break from the conversation. Do you have new leaders on your team and you can see their potential, you can see their runway, but you cannot figure out how to get them across the finish line? Reach out to 304 Coaching and learn more about our brain-based, competency-focused executive coaching. Start your team meetings with a learning topic. It's a great thing to kind of rotate around by each person. Every week, a new person on the team can share something they recently learned and why it made an impact on them. This compounds the learning. Again, it makes learning cool because it's celebrated, but it also allows everyone to know they have something to learn from each person on that team. Want to compound that effort even more? Know that teams that are learners, teams that are learning, teams that can see that they can learn from others, they're more likely to be helpful and supportive of each other. And a team that learns together is a team that grows together. Celebrate risk and failures. Yes, we often learn from traditional methods, but we also learn from experiences. And if you're not creating an environment where people can take risk and try new things, then your team, they're just not learning. No one ever gained a new skill by doing nothing new. You have to try new things. You have to take risk. You have to experience failures. All of this, these activities, this creative mindset, all of this creates learning and this excitement for a job. 
Encourage your team to network with cross-functional leaders. And this can be tough for people because too often leaders are protective over their own team and they don't encourage them to get out there and work with other leaders. Do not be that person because there's so much value from learning what leaders in other departments are doing, how they're doing it, what's new in their world. Learning from different leaders allow us to expand our knowledge and our views. And here's one that can be even harder at times. Provide space for learning. Let's face it, learning takes time. And if you're not providing the space in the course of a workday for learning new things, it's really hard for your team to grow. Keep an eye on your team's calendars. When the meetings start to stack up, do a meeting clean out. And this is just a good practice every quarter, do a meeting clean out. I don't know why the amount of reoccurring emails grow over time, but they just do. Keep your team focused and not overbooked. Not only creates a space where they can learn, it also helps prevent mental burnout. So we just went through the importance of making learning cool for your team. Ideas on how to do that. But please, please, please never forget your enthusiasm for learning and sharing what you learned is the way to make learning the coolest. Now go out there, learn something new and help us all fix leadership. Thanks for listening to Let's Fix Leadership. By hanging out with me today, you're already on your path. If you're looking to learn more and to see if your company is a good fit for our coaching and leadership education, then hey, visit 304coaching.com. If you got value out of this podcast, share it with a friend. And it would mean the world to me if you would leave a thoughtful review and a rating on iTunes. Thanks again for listening. And I appreciate your work in fixing leadership.